Hey there, everyone. We're back playing Eternal Chaos, and where's the nearest place we can go today? Starting from the beginning of the hub, I think I want to go to Jungle Jam. Oh, yeah, Dead Toad. You kind of wig me out. We still got one up here. I'm a, I'm a completionist sucker for, like, zones and stuff, so we got two doors up here that we can't do yet. Need eight, to, eight stars to enter, and I have seven. Well, that's no bueno. How about up here? Ten stars there in that particular. Well, then I guess I'm going to be forced to do Jungle Jam. That's fine. I wanted to do Jungle Jam. Anyway, is this a... Is this a... Wait a minute. This looks pretty hidden. Can I go down here? No, that's just ground. Dang it. I should have known. This game is not much for secrets, so I should have known that wasn't going to lead anything. Fruitful. Okay, Jungle Jam. You get your wish. I'm going to play you. You get your wish and you get mine. What awaits us here? Donkey Kong music of some kind? This is the quietest jungle music I've ever heard in my life. This is... This is chill as shit, dude. What is this? This is... Dang, this is... <laughs> what killed you? Did the corner of the cliff kill you or something? Well, something killed you, that's for sure. I'm Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful and remember that I have vines that I cannot climb in any way at all whatsoever. Can I go down? This is not safe, is it? Probably not, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Spike is a custom graphic of Sniffit, but I don't really like to use it because they don't have that Spike feel. Hey, Cheap Cheap, that's cool. Just right in the face. Get right started on me, why don't you? But yeah, the Spikes don't really have that Spike feel. They just kind of jitter around and shoot a giant ball, which itself is a custom variation of the Sniffit bullet, so... Yeah, they just it seems like a really neutered version of a spike. It's like it's like a friend visiting. What killed that guy? I still didn't catch it that time. I still didn't pay attention. Although this background is lush as hell. I got to say it's it's pretty pretty. Okay, I'm I'm ready for you this time, cheap cheap. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, and I was that close to a power up cuz of course I was. Get out of my face. You crazy, cheap, cheap. Ha <laughs> ha, okay, it appears I'm going to have to have some kind of human shield in place, or tortoise shield, or otherwise, if I want this to go at all well. Hoopster, come here. You hoopsters are very useful, because I can at least jump up on you. Pretty short, pretty short hoopster climbing distance. Oh, so that's your plan now, is to get me in the booty, huh? I'm sure it is booty, like I'm eight years old. That's a, that's a Jonathan word right there, booty. So the main challenge here is going to come from avoiding cheap cheeps. And if they really want to double up on their ante, then uh, maybe occasionally they'll have me go down into the water for something. Like a star coin, right somehow on Q. Um, am I going to have to swim underneath the landmass to get to that? That's... I mean, that's not inconceivable, but hey, Red Paratroopa. You think you can get away from me once? Well, maybe that's true, but you can't get away from me twice. Let's drop down in the water and see if I can go underneath this. Yeah, I gotta really tap it, but I can get down in there. And that was worth a one-up, too, and it was the first star coin. That's just a function of me having 99 coins at that point, though, so I'm not gonna get too worked up about it. Mario? You have some pretty good water jump out of height in this game, so... Oh, goodness gracious. Good gravy. This is going to be another level that takes forever to get to a to a midway point, isn't it? I'm going to end up dying and getting really frustrated because it is forever between midpoints in this game. But still, this is a pretty level, so I can kind of, uh... I can kind of get over that, I guess. Woo! Hmm, they don't seem to jump as high if they know they're not gonna... If they know they don't have a chance of tagging you. Well, you certainly tried. You certainly mustered up some effort there, Mr. Guy. So, I can't be too sad for you. Let's see. This is like some kind of... This is probably some kind of Donkey Konga music or something. Knowing the general pattern of the music in this game so far, it seems to be from later generation Nintendo games like uh there's been some paper mario a lot of paper mario music actually there's been some wario land shake it like a polaroid picture music there's been some there's been all kinds of music from all kinds of uh just kind of later period mario games that i'm really not familiar with so if i had to uh place a bet on this 
if there was somehow a wager at stake. Hey, Spike, how's it going? Yeah, if there was some kind of wager at stake, I would definitely say this is a... Anything invisible around this pipe? That's just the way my particular brain works. No, no. Okay, that's cool. All right, Jungle Jam, let's go. Midpoint! That was about to be expected. These levels are kind of... Kind of little two-section wonders so far. Like, you'll do a really long, kind of nothing really special about it section, and then you'll get to a midpoint, and something uh, crazy will start happening. Well, for one thing, we're getting some height. I would say there's something up there if I could get a leaf to access it, but I don't want to... Well, I do have room to run, so why not? There's got to be something up that way, because I'm seeing cliff tops and all that jazz. Sure enough, a high road, and one thing I've learned from Sonic games is always take the high road. What have we got here? Another uh, another just kind of section. Why did I think that was going to knock on the pipe and not come at me for some reason? That was some silly garbage right there. Hey there, springy dingy. It is apparent you are going to be needed, and you have some weird physics. This is a weird little area for that sort of thing. Well, maybe I can just continue to carry up with carry it up with me and not really need it. Not even for this. What am I saving this spring for? Can I knock you out with a spring spike? The world will never know. Ding 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 ding. Okay, this must be what I. Yeah. Okay, this is what I need it for. I was like, well, I could just jump up to the vine and climb it, but we've already well and truly established that. Vines your background this level, and that was kind of a cheap, uncool trick, actually. Much like cheap trick themselves. Cheap and uncool. <laughs> I was never much of a cheap trick fan. Classic rock, sure, but cheap trick was never in my particular purview. Why don't you get out of here, spiky ball? All right, good to have my floaty back. My inflatable water wing floaty. Anything interesting up the way that I need to be checking for? I'm going to assume the answer to that is no, unless I can go over the cliff face somehow. Which seems unlikely, given that I cannot fly, but... I feel like my jump was kind of stunted there somehow. Did I just... Did I do that right, or... Yeah, I did that right. I'm just dumb. Okay, here we go. I love the, uh... Background thing they do with the pipes. Like, pipes don't connect to the ground so easily. Or they don't, they don't really mesh easily with the ground, so that was some kind... There's some kind of sleight of hand with background details going on here that I'd be kind of interested to know about. Because I usually just... I don't connect my pipes to ground at all, generally. I just make them go stretch to the bottom of the screen, and I put the landmass around it, so... Oh, boy. Rising water. Just give the cheap cheap an opportunity to jump up to me, why don't you? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Me, me. Okay, Hoopstar. Well, the enemy variety is getting a little better, but I can't say as it's really jazzing me up or getting me excited still. I mean, we got Hoopstars and Spikes, and this is probably the bad idea to end all bad ideas here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, green cheapy cheapies. How's it going down here? You must be jealous that you can't jump high in the air. Like your blood red brethren. Meep. Meep, meep. Okay. Let's get a move on then. Let's ignore the pretty floating water and get hit by Koopa Troopas. Wonderful. Vundaba. Okay. Moving right along then. Footloose and fancy free. Pop! Okay. The pattern with pipes so far has been that I can go in them. Except that is not true of this particular one. But I thought I saw a star up ahead. There is more to explore in this level, though. I feel like I went in a pipe that kind of uh, took me in a different way than usual. But knowing this game's lack of yin for secrets, I don't think I missed too much. Though we will come back and explore it. And why not send Zoidberg? Why not? Okay, back in a minute. All right, now assuming we are not stalwart explorers who do not care about things like... Or wait, no. Now assuming, yes, that we are not stalwart explorers who do care about things like springs, let's be unstalwart explorers 
who don't care about those things. And let's see where the bottom path takes us. Well, to a star coin, and that's basically it, unless we want to have more water fun, it looks like. Okay, let's get up and out of here. Haha, <laughs> right around you, Mr. Coop. Did it take us to the top anyway? That's a little bit silly. It kind of took us, like, right into enemy fire, but it doesn't seem like that really does anything for us. Um, it absolutely does not. It's basically like... Hmm, it seems to be like if you get to... If you get a leaf somehow, you can just somehow get to that point early, which is... Yeah, a little disappointing. This level is just as frustratingly linear as ever. The only difference is that my way, you miss a star coin. So I was actually... I was actually punished for taking a shorter way, which I guess is in keeping with some Mario philosophy, but really that's just kind of silly. So having Dewey wasted everybody's time, let's get the F out of Dodge. Alright, next time I suppose we will do the levels up Cliff Edge way, but today we're going to finish off with Harbor Havoc. What's that going to look and sound like? It's going to look very pretty with a nice Super Mario World-esque background. And I am digging on the Sunshine theme, both aesthetic and uh, music-wise, the Rico Harbor theme. Definitely the best variation on that leap motif for my money. What's, why'd you walk down? Okay, I'm seeing. The light blue ones are solid and I can walk on them, and the dark blue ones are background that I can jump through. Wise to note, I would be wise to keep this in mind as I continue throughout my, as I continue on along my way. Worth noting is that and, uh, let's see, what is today? Today is, like, August 17th as I record this. That means in about nine days... Yeah, August 26th, nine days from now, we will be seeing the 10th anniversary of the debut of Mario Sunshine in North America. So, there's a nice little occasion to celebrate. And I do quite enough criticism of Mario Sunshine in the Mario 64 Brysolf project. How about up to you? Can I go inside you? Come here, pipe. Let me get inside you. Come on. There's there's a few taunty pipes around here. I saw one with, like, no blocks on it. <laughs> oh, wow. This could get crazy with me not looking and not paying attention. All right. I'm going to have to really keep my eyes open. You can walk on the hooks to change your background, but you can walk on the hooks, so die, Blue Shell, of course. Why don't I just... Hmm. Tricky set of jumps to make, but I think I can do this without losing any ground if I'm not stupid. Okay, good. I am most decidedly not stupid. Hey, that was a nice little bit of platforming there. We can continue up on our way with minimal time loss. All right, now we're getting into the Yoshi side of the theme. I'm uh, I'm liking this little uh, construction site type. Very nice, very nice approximation of the of the jumping around in Rico Harbor. This is this is really enjoyable and a lot of fun. I am I'm I'm liking this level a lot, and I'm liking finding all the uh, I'm liking finding all the the what's its faces as well. Oh, where did I where did I take myself? I was I was going on such good solid ground and then I blew it. Although I will definitely take a backup ice flower. Thank you very much. What do these projectile fishes keep dying on? This is really interesting to know. Can I no, I can't even go anywhere remotely close to there. Hey, good thing I can swim in that water. You have to actually set the capability to swim in water differently from here we go. Here is my here is my exit out of here. Here we go then. And then that's a pit. And then pay a lot of attention. And there's some coins. Here we go. Now I have a feeling that this is a place where they could really hide some good stuff if you felt like looking around and being a little Miss Dora the female explorer. Ha ha ha! Come here, you. That hook is going to get in my jumping way, isn't it? Well, maybe not so much. Okay, Spike Top. I don't think so. No funny business, Mr. Man. This is a good place to hide some good pipery. And midpoint. Hooray. And I think I've made it to the uh, second part of the level now. It appears to be that way since this is a bottom left that I have no prior awareness of. Hey, weirdo blooper. Blurp or whatever your name is. You're some kind of cheap cheap. Did I, did I mess that up somehow? Am I not going to be able to get out of here now? 
Okay, where is my out? Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow, why did I even think you could do that? Because you don't usually put that kind of thing outside. That's why. Very clever game. Very clever indeed. I'm, if I had watched the... Uh, well, that makes sense then. It stands to reason that if I had watched the Cheap Cheap do his thing, then I would have seen that... He probably crossed over to the bottom right of the screen, and hey, a fallen spike top. That's not something you see every day. This is actually vaguely disorienting, but also fun. I am, uh, I'm enjoying the crap out of this. Hey, hole. Uh, ooh, nope, that's exactly the exact super mega opposite of what I wanted to do. Which is a scientific term, actually, super mega opposite. Okay, eh. That is a weird jump to have to make, and they are really sticking it to me with the with the screws here. You gotta know when to you gotta like prepare your jumps in advance. Very cleverly done, I think, with the side with the side to side mechanic. I think they did a pretty good job of that here. Hey, you you die now. You die and you go to hell. Oh, and now they're making a maze out of it. Well, Koopa Troopas can be some kind of guide, but I'm gonna get rid of my guide entirely because Guides are for sissies, according to the man guide. Whoop! Okay, then I can come up here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm now I'm getting a little bit of a foothold. And pop down around here. Been a while since I got all the star coins in a level, but not too shab shab shabby. We don't roll on Shabas, Donnie. Shut up, Mario. You're out of your element. Okay... I really like this uh, harbor aesthetic. I think that's in the Red Yoshi pack, this uh, custom harbor type thing. Well, that was not too bad, and in fact, it was pretty much a crap load of fun. Can I cross the other side of this screen? No, I cannot. So that's going to do it for us today. We're going to collect the star, and then next time we will go up to uh, what I believe is called Musical Clouds, which, what kind of music are we thinking here? I don't know, we'll just have to see next time. Musical clouds are lots of fun, unless they are located in a place called Bandland. And the Haunted Grotto, which we still can't get to just yet. We need 10 stars to enter it. Well, we'll get that 10 star here, so we can just pop out both of these tomorrow, I'm sure. Or next time, whenever that may be. I'll see you guys.